Hey everyone, how are you doing? So we're a slightly different location for our intro today. We're at Pacific Beach, aren't we Gary? We are, we're at a place called Ocean City in the northwest corner of Washington State. So if you want to look us up on the map, give it a little whirl. Now, we're going to head down to San Francisco in the next sort of couple of weeks. But today, we're just going to have a lovely beach day. Um, we're not even sure if we're going to have much to show you other than sun, sand and sun and sand <laughs> yeah, yeah sun and sand, sand. <laughs> sand <laughs> shellfish <laughs> <laughs> maybe some sandwiches and you'll see that um, I'm tickled pink today by accident I dyed my hair so I can't really use any really harsh chemicals so I sort of use one of those sort of um, natural products but it's supposed to be red and it's come out a bit pink but it's not a homage to Barbie or anything like that just in case anyone thinks I'm jumping on a trend I'm not and I'm you know. not changing my name to Ken and oh well you could change your name to uh, something else it's that's quite topical at the moment Subway are giving away free sandwiches for life if you change your name to Subway by all accounts can you imagine that um, so anyway let's uh, show you a little bit of the beach and where we are today and we will show you our campsite for the next couple of days before we head on down the coast. our pitch on Pacific Beach State Park campground I'll get that out it's a bit of a nightmare to say um, they're not bad actually it's a little bit of room obviously we're the wrong way around being a European car but uh, vehicle but then if you look at our tables there but our doors that side Gary's just packing her up now uh, here's the toilets and showers and it is actually a unisex shower now I initially thought oh god do I have to go in there there's a load of old tinkles there or something but there wasn't you go in and it's your own room so it's not like you have to go in there's loads of people the opposite sex it's absolutely fine and uh, they're all right actually um, right on top of the beach the beach is literally just over that way it's pretty good it's hilarious moment because somebody's actually following us on youtube that's on the same campground and we've just met these lovely people here and gary's just we're, we're having to pack up unfortunately we're having a right old laugh um but hi <laughs> thanks for following us so we just come back to the beach for the day because it's so lovely here and gary's telling me there's this thing called what's it called amber grist or something what is it amber green what is it? It's a, it's effectively it's a whale vomit, and it's uh it's the it's the main ingredient for, that causes the smell in most perfumes. Really? So you, yeah. So if you find a big enough chunk, which is what all these people I think are driving up and down for, um, you find a big enough chunk, and all the cosmetic companies will be clambering over themselves to try and offer you the money for it. You find a big enough trunk, chunk, and and you get you know hundreds of thousands of pounds for it some some lumps have even gone for over a million are you serious i think we should be out on the bloody beach ourselves like <laughs> uh, uh, you know we should get on our hands and knees gary and start looking for this stuff we could do with that stop digging it oh well i'll tell you what i'm, I'm not um i'm not thinking so highly of my uh, dolce gabbana now i didn't realize i was wearing whale vomit <laughs> what your light blue whale <laughs> 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 so Gary's quite keen to try an ambergris run, aren't you Gary? I am. You never know when it's going to turn up and if you're not there, you know you're not going to get it. We read this story last night about this kid in England that had found some off Bournemouth Beach. He was only about eight and he found a right nice lump worth about £63,000 by all accounts. What? So Gary's got ambergris uh, green fever. eyes. <laughs> He's got green fever. <laughs> I'm going to have a quick look on this little beach. We didn't come down here for the day yesterday, but it's another one that you could drive onto. There's a little toilet there. To be fair, it doesn't look like you'd want to have your lunch in there. Oh. We're anywhere near it. It looks quite grim, that toilet, doesn't it? It does. Oh, look, there's a few people on the beach, but look, it's still not exactly crowded, is it? When you put it against some of the beaches I've been on in my life, this is like paradise. Isn't it? So, are we ready to do this ambergris run? Right, we're looking for any lumps. Oh, well, let's not look at me then. <laughs> <laughs> Takes all sorts. There's a pirate flag on there. It's hilarious. 
did read that they were sperm whales that produce it so we're not entirely sure if that's the same type of whale so is that a good feel oh no it's a no oh god he's found a dead crab he's touched it oh god he's gonna torch his hands oh look at him he thinks that's clean hands now and this is we have a system whenever he's doing anything i get the old hand sanitizer out watch this he'll, no he'll millions it. today babes i'm See? afraid he knows he's got his hand sanitizer <laughs> hands out already <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else do that, girl? As soon as they've been to the the poops like location, sand hand sanitizer lives here. <laughs> that is so essential to our living. <laughs> oh, we're not going to be rich, are we, babe? No, but we're think, rich in love. I think we're going to hit the road again, babes. And you're right, we are rich in love. <laughs> Passed through a little town called Aberdeen on our way down, and we've realised that this is the birthplace of Kurt Cobain. And you'll, if you're the same age group as me, you'll remember who Kurt Cobain is. He was just an iconic musician um, when I was younger, and uh, he was actually born in 1967, so he was two years older than than what. I am and he killed himself in 1994 he shot himself he'd um, battled a lot of demons in his life um, and he was a real talented artist and he was only 27 when he died he actually lived a couple of streets away from here so this was really his stomping ground and interestingly enough the poor people that live here are sick to death of people thinking that this is where he lived he didn't live on this little corner street and they've ended up having to put these signs out this is not a gift shop no Kurt didn't live here he lived at and if they've given the address no we didn't know him all the questions they must be asked nobody's taken much notice of please stay off the statue um, and people have written stuff and there's even there's still flowers now really this is the memorial stone for him it's got some really amazing quotes on it I'd rather be hated for who I am than loved for who I am not and uh, we was just talking we've just been talking to a guy here as well and having a little bit of a chuckle because there's loads of stuff that's been left for for the memorial stone including coins and it's not been touched and the fact that in a place of you know this is got quite a bit of poverty in this area nobody's touched it nobody he must be really very loved and admired and we've come to a lovely little town called westport it's a gorgeous little fishing town and it's in washington state and last night we stayed with a gorgeous couple called fran and jim, jim. didn't we and they were lovely we had dinner with them and they're sort of on the boondockers welcome so hiya guys how are you um, we made it to Westport and we're going to have a little look around here and apparently the fish and chips are great so we might have a bite of them for lunch. We are parked on the car park and the car park goes down row after row. I'll just spin you around, you'll see that's the, the seafront along there and just here is a viewing tower. We're going to have a little look up there. It's not too high to climb is it honey? We're up here now. Oh we're, we noticed there's a a fisherman's memorial over there so we might have a little look at that in a second so we're going up it's not too high thankfully but if i start to huff and puff it's really high <laughs> actually we're up the top now looks quite good doesn't it Bob? wow here's a lovely view from the top it's gorgeous there's a population of around 2200 people in westport and uh it's a relatively new town, isn't it? We've just seen absolutely hundreds of crabbing vessels. What, what do you call them? Crabbing? Crab pots. Crab pots. So it's really big for fishing here. It's, it's lovely. Oh, I do love a marina. There's the van. This is absolutely beautiful. It says, please sit here and remember us and everyone who lost their lives at sea. Ah, grief never ends, but it changes. It's a passage, not a place to stay. Grief is not a sign of weakness, nor a lack of faith. It is the price of love. I love these places. It just proves that humanity does care. It does love, doesn't it? brilliant murals as well here and we're just going to have a little mooch down the front now see if we can get a little bit of lunch look at this i love murals i think this is what towns should do when they've got buildings with nothing on them 
lovely little gift shop and we, we always forget to get stickers but we're we're looking at some of these and some of these are really really good strong women make waves ain't that true gary but there's a couple of them there's like a little pirate one. Oh no that's not a pirate Ooh, it's a skull i don't think i want that one. Oh look there's a, a fish in a, a boat in a bottle we should get that yeah, I like that one. Yeah, These are only $1.99 each. We've come to Marino's Fish Restaurant for lunch and it's really good value. So it's $10.99 for rockfish and chips. I've not had rockfish since I lived in Woolwich when I was like about 15. I used to love rockfish. Not sure I've ever had it. Oh, well, if I remember rightly, rockfish, it just has one bone in it and it's a lovely fish. Um, so I've, I've not had it for years. So we're going to have that. And we're, we've got a lovely little sea view I'll show you in a minute and we'll see what, what it looks like when it comes. But what a gorgeous little place Westport's <laughs> been, hasn't so, it? it? We just found a second hand shop as well. Just got a little clothing haul for ten dollars. You know, so all this little weight that's going on, at least I've got some clothes that fit now. <laughs> it's a brilliant day. This is our little view, isn't it gorgeous? Our motorhome, we've moved it slightly, and then you get one of these little buses that, that beep when you when your dinner's ready. And uh, we're starving, aren't we, babe? <laughs> yes, we are. There's an RV park over there, but that's right on top of each other for me. I wouldn't really enjoy that. Um, but anyway, if you really wanted to be here, it'd be fine, I'm sure. Fishing boats just turned up and a couple of lads have just dropped off the fish. Don't get fresher than that for your fish and chips. We've just got the most delicious looking fish and chips that have turned up. And it's all, this has been less than $30 for both of us. Um, obviously that's before a little tip if you want to give a tip, which you definitely should, because the service is fantastic. Really like this place, don't you? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? And we've got a nice Good recommendation. View. So we're going to have some lunch. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Westport. What a, what a great time. It's getting in with the alfalfa. So he's grabbing in a couple of alfalfa hay things. That's it, babs. Oh, you're looking really farmerish already. <laughs>